what's up people man here coming to you with a video this time we are going to be making stuffed karele or stuffed bitter melons it has a very distinct taste it is extremely delicious and it's extremely healthy for you the first thing that i've done is i've washed them thoroughly and i'm taking these uh, small sticks out because these are not edible now once we have washed them and chopped the ends i need to scrape off the top uh, skin of it and we are going to reuse it in addition to that i've also uh, sliced a uh, half a onion uh, this one was uh, was a large onion i've sliced it we're going to be putting that into a pan and we're going to be cooking the filling or the stuffing inside so step 1 wash and take off the stem that was holding the fruit once that's done take the onion chop it up into lengthwise pieces now that we have that uh I'm just going to take a peeler and start peeling off or scraping off just the top layer we're just taking the top layer off so that the bump uh the bumpy portion of this can be off uh, do not discard it this has a lot of flavor it has a lot of sort of uh, fill in it we do plan to use it i personally prefer uh, the melons the or the bitter melons also known as uh, kareli in uh, hindi to be better uh if you don't like them bitter what you can do is you can cover them with salt uh and that takes a bitter part out of it personally me i don't mind that at all so this is from one do the same thing for the other the scraper that i have i know how uh, sharp it is so i'm able to do it this way if uh, the scraper that you're using is uh you know sharp but just be careful and once we have uh, peeled off or scraped off uh this part do not uh, discard it cuz this is useful uh, we are going to be using it in the cooking just put it in a side plate uh get a paring knife out cuz the next step is going to require that and again uh this is a bitter dish and the way that you want to pick up uh the karele or the bitter melon darker the better uh if it's lighter it's going to have a slightly okay taste but darker the better and now what we want to do is we want to take the knife and make a small incision right down the middle and we want to take out whatever is inside there so again be a little bit more aggressive with it it has a thick skin and we want to peel we want to open that up and we want to scrape out all these seeds and the pods that are inside use your thumb if you need to uh, just go in there these are like pods and they will come right out and the inside should be left clean and sometimes the seeds are going to be red that means that they are it's not that they are bad it just as it's a little bit more aged or they've actually got a little older which is okay too uh, they are okay to eat this is a very unique dish people all over india eat it in us it's not easy to find this in the restaurants because they don't sell them because the shelf life of this dish is very short uh, within 24 hours if you don't eat <laughs> they go bad and they go soggy it's better to make it at home and please be careful when you're doing this cuz it's easy to cut yourself so know your knife know your tools and if you don't like the seeds to be too big you can always take a knife cut them in half these seeds are very tender uh, with an exception on the red ones which can be slightly tough if they are just omit them just take the seeds out but leave the flesh in uh, these are the inside seeds just remove them they're going to be slightly tougher uh, but keep the top shell cuz that has a flavor in it And again the red ones are tougher so don't use those seeds you can just toss them out uh, fun fact you can just put them in the garden they do grow and this is like a vine it just climbs everywhere so hot or summer season crop in the winter time it's not going to uh, flourish in the summer time this will grow and it will take over so be careful when you plant it okay now in a walk we're going to be putting some oil uh to your liking there is really no amount uh, just enough that can cover the onions uh, wait for the oil to heat up if you like at this point you can salt the stuffed or the cut karele that way the bitter flavor can go out take about half a teaspoon of uh, mustard seeds toss them in there and yes these are whole mustard seeds take a half a spoon of cumin seeds toss them in also just rotate it around and as soon as you start hearing the mustard seeds uh, crackle and pop this is when you need to toss in the onion and be careful when you're tossing it in uh, toss it away from yourself once you toss it in just mix it up 
That way the cumin and the mustard seeds do not burn. Just break up the onions a little bit. I like to cover the onions uh, as they are on the heat. That way it speeds up the cooking process. As soon as the onions have started to take on the color or they are becoming translucent. This is when the green chilies uh, are going to be coming in. I am using about 3 or 4 Thai green chilies uh, diced. You can also use if you like jalapeno peppers. If you, are, if you don't handle your heat properly you don't need to use uh, Thai chilies at all. You can just skip the, the step and again you have to respect each ingredient. You have to let it cook a little and at this point the seeds that we took out or the stuffing that we took out from uh, the bitter melon goes in. And now will be the perfect time to add crushed black pepper to your taste and also salt. We're going to be adding salt and keep one thing in mind if you did salt the skin of uh, the bitter melon uh, use less salt. This is when we're going to be adding in the green part. Cut the heat off. Taste the salt and now we're going to be adding in the spices, red chili, crushed red peppers and because this is a very sour dish we're going to be adding a little bit of humchur powder. Uh, the tanginess cuts out the sourness also. So just about a half a teaspoon of humchur powder goes in there. Key, key point the heat is off. Now we're going to stir in the spices. We're going to level it off and the cover goes back on and we're going to let this thing simmer for the next five minutes. All right uh, so this thing has now reduced. It has cooked thoroughly. It will be a perfect time to taste to see if you need any extra spices, if you need any salt or pepper. Once you have taste tested it and everything seems to be fine, now just take it out in a bowl or a white pan and this needs to go in the free, uh, fridge to cool down really quick. And just don't wash this uh, kadahi just yet because we are going to be using it to cook uh, the karela in. Just spread it thin on a plate and put it in the fridge so it can start cooling off. Alright, our mixture is now cooled. It's easy to pick up. It's not hot at all. And now we're going to be taking this and stuffing this cooked mixture inside the bitter melons. So just open them up. You can use a hand. Uh, you can use spoon. I personally prefer to use hands that way you know exactly uh, you're stuffing it properly because your fingers are able to go in and push everything in the crevice. It doesn't have to be perfect. The main intention is just to get as much of a stuffing as you can in it without it breaking. And the reason why we are not using the uh, small sliced onion and we are using the big uh, long uh, onions is that way they don't come out easily. So this much will be just perfect. Just put it on the side, move on to the next one. Stuff them through, put it on the side. Again, open it up, take a handful, start dropping it in. If it falls out, don't worry about it. Just put it back in. This is a very unique dish uh, at the Indian subcontinent. You don't get these at the Indian store uh, or even at the restaurants. They don't just don't make them. In order to eat it, either you need to cook it yourself or you need to get an Indian friend that's willing to invite you. The other variants that people do often is they will batter it uh, in a basin batter and deep fry it. Uh, I personally don't prefer it. It's uh, you're deep frying the food that is supposed to be healthy for you. But hey, to each their own. And yes, it's a messy process and yes, you're using your hands. But hey, you're cooking for yourself, right? And these bitter melons you can find at Indian uh, grocery store. You can also find them uh, locally in Tampa Bay at uh, MD Market, which is an oriental market. Uh, or any Chinese or Japanese store, uh, they will carry them. Do try them out just because it looks like, oh, it's a odd looking uh, vegetable. Don't get scared by it. Adventure. Live a little. And if extra is left, just go back and see if any of them had a little room left. If they did, uh, or if you didn't stuff them properly initially, just go back and put them back in. Alright, the end result should some look something like this. 
Uh, if you have a butcher twine, you can use that. If not, just use a toothpick, pierce it through. That way it doesn't open up. And it also helps it to stabilize and stay on top. All we are trying to do is go through the top portion of the skin. Do it gently. You don't want to break it. And again, right from the top. Just go right through it. And if it's overstuffed like this, just take the filling off. You don't need that extra. It's going to fall out anyways. On the same pan, we're going to be adding, we're going to be putting it on medium high heat, adding a little bit of oil, squashing it around. You can use olive oil. Uh, you can use actually a low temperature oil because this is going to be a very forgiving dish. Just put it on uh, medium high heat. Let the air or the, let the temperature come up to a slow heat. And the way that you want to put it is top side up. Preferably put the small ones towards the outside and the big ones in the middle. That way they get a chance to cook and heat more evenly. Like so. Again, medium high heat. Main intention is that each and every one of uh, the bitter melons should be touching some portion of uh, the wok. Now we'll cover it, let it slow cook for about 10 minutes. The color has started to change. This is going to be the perfect opportunity of flipping them. Preferably use tongs if you're not able to handle the heat. Just hold the toothpick and rotate. Just hold the toothpick and rotate. Look at that golden color. And if it comes out, just put it back in. Don't worry about it. Once you flip them, just cover them back up. And let's start cooking them again. And I did come back and open the karahi for the wok. And I'm going to rotate them. This side is perfectly done. That's the color that we want. I'm going to roast the other side also to a similar texture and a similar color. And these should be ready to eat. Traditionally, these uh, stuffed karelas or the stuffed uh, bitter melon are served with chapatis. You can have them with paratha or puri. Don't serve them with rice. They don't go well with rice. You need something uh, like a tortilla or a flatbread or a naan to go along with that. And as you can see, these are golden brown and delicious. Uh, while they are not crispy, they are not supposed to be crispy. They're just supposed to be done. That's the color that we're looking for. As always, like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you guys and girls on the next one. Later people. And don't forget to thumbs up. Bye.